All right, let's jump through this code real quick. <clears throat> this is my standard pan and tilt code, and um, it's pretty good, actually. The first thing, uh, the, 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 the main thing about this code, the reason I wrote it, was this right here. If you see, you know, you're, you're never going to use a 0 to 180 scale on your servos. You're never going to go all the way from one side to the other. So, like, in the case of one of my robots, it can look down as far as 60 and up as far as 140. If it goes any farther than that, then the, the pan and tilt will physically hit the chassis of the robot. So we want to limit how far it can go. Same here with the, the, um, the left and right. <clears throat> now, that said, if you want to do kind of proportional moves, proportional to, you know, um, to its full travel, then it's far easier to use a 0 to 100 scale for both axes, right? So, in essence, the, all of this code uses a 0 to 100 scale, 0 being all the way one way, 100 being all the way the other way, and those numbers are automatically calculated based on these maximum numbers right here, okay? These here. So first and foremost, fire up your pan and tilt, fire up your Arduino, fire up a standard servo sketch, forget about this code, and then just go ahead and, um, and move your servos as far as you feel comfortable with them moving, as far down, as far up, as far right, as far left, and write those numbers down on your notebook or your piece of paper, okay? And then, um, uh, and bear in mind that up, down, left, right, maybe backwards, depending on how your pan and tilt is physically put together. Uh, but it's irrelevant. All, everything will work, and you can sw swap directions very easily. Okay? These two numbers centered, these two numbers refer to the 0 to 100 scale. Okay? So, again, I would run, uh, I'd run this code as far as this. Here's your setup routine where, um, you know, rotate position and tilt position set equal centered, and then use the subroutine move head now, which is a, a quick non jinky move, um, to put it in that position. And then you can fiddle with those centered numbers. I would actually probably, you know, comment out here the, um, the main loop, so it'll just go ahead and center and, and just sit there. And then you can fudge these two numbers until both, units are centered, okay? Dig it, dig it, dig it. There's one more Boolean you need to know about, and it's the Boolean head in position. When a move starts, th this Boolean will go false, and when the move has been completed, it'll go true. So this is a little flag you can set within your code to know if the head has physically gotten to where you want it to go, okay? Standard stuff, attach your servos, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, Let's go to the actual um, servo moving routines, and I'll show you the difference between... Uh, there's three, okay? This first one, move head now, this is just like telling your servos to move using, like, the regular servo command. The only difference is, here, all of the math has been done to convert your minimum and maximum, you know, positions as far as the servos can go on your particular rig this here, this converts it to that 0 to 100 scale. So 0 will always be your minimum and 100 will always be your maximum or vice versa. Um, but you could always use this one, 0 to 100 scale and it'll always be proportional, if that makes sense. Dig it? And so it makes your code a lot easier because your, your, the up and down and right and left are going to work together um, and be proportionate to each other and they both work off the same scale. Um, and then again, all of this, you know, mapping and constraining and, and converting, all of this does that math for you automatically. So again, once you, once you figure out these mins and maxes, you know, the, the highs and lows, and you figure it out you're centered, then everything will work, period. Okay? Move head now. This is a non-ramped move. This just zoop, goes. Okay? Ramp head, this first one, we, uh, well, here, I'll show you the command here under the random. Uh, here's, here is ramp head, variable, variable, variable. That's ramp head, pan, tilt, 
and how long in milliseconds. Okay, that's how you send that's how you send your 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 values to the routine. So in this case, <clears throat> where you want to go on the rotate, where you want to go on the tilts, those are again both zero to hundred, and then how long in milliseconds, a thousand being a second. This particular routine, ramp head, is going to camp here. It's going to stay in this routine. Here's the while. While where you are does not equal where you want to go, and where you are tilt does, is, does not equal where you want to go, keep running this routine. And it's going to stay here, so your main loop is going to be locked up until the head moves to where it's going to go. Dig it? Dig it. I have one last routine here, ramp head step. Okay, this is identical to the ramp head routine. However, you have to call this routine, you know, the subroutine over and over and over and over and over within your main loop. And every time you call this routine, it will make one step towards, well, if it's time for it to take another step, um, it will take a, a one step per call on this routine. So if you have a main loop that's looping, you know, loop a loop a loop a loop a looping, then you can use this ramp head step uh, within your routine and just jink over to the subroutine quick, and then and it'll go right back to your main loop after it's taken that one little step on its way to to swoosh the servo from one end to the other. Dig it? So again, move head now. This is like a standard servo command. It just converts your highs and lows, you know, your max left, max right, max up, max down to a zero to 100 scale. Ramp step does that same conversion, but it'll ramp slowly to where it's going and stay in this routine. And then ramp head step, again, you've got to keep calling on this within your main loop over and over and over to keep those servos moving to where they're going. And <clears throat> along those lines, this is kind of important because once you get to where you're going, once this loop has basically been done, then um, what's going to happen is at the end, you, where is it? There it is right there. In the end, that Boolean, that head in position flag is going to turn true. So within your main code, within your main loop, you can say if head in position, you know, is true, then you know that the servos have gotten there. So this is the way that you can keep an eye on what these routines are doing within your main loop. Dig it? Dig it. So that's the whole thing. You can just take this basically as it sits, just copy and paste some, some of these uh, definitions and, and, uh, and uh, you know, we're setting up our variables, just copy and paste all those, you know, come on, standard stuff here. We all know what's going on there. And then, um, just as example code, what I've done here is this little random head routine. And all it does um, is it sets a random position for rotate between 0 and 100, random position for tilt, up and down 0 to 100, random um, uh, speed from a quarter second to two seconds to make that sweep. And then it sends all those numbers off to ramp head. The head slowly moves to that position. And then just for fun, I added a little delay so the head will kind of have a little personality. So there you go. Um, set your as far ups and as far downs and as far rights and as far lefts. Play with what's centered. Um, maybe change your pins if they're different. And, um, and that's it. This is pan and tilt code for smoothly ramping pan and tilts using a common scale for both motors. And, uh, and it works really, really good. This is my standard go-to code that I wrote, and I've, I, I've, I wrote it probably two years ago, and I'm still using it. It's just absolutely great code. So, um, so there you go. Solid chunk of usable code that you can cut and paste directly into yours and just be done with it. It works, it works, it works, it works. Period. All right. Chris Carpenter, RocketBrandStudios.com with a code walkthrough of my pan and tilt stuff. Um, 